Hello everybody, I've got a really awesome treat today. This is a new custom done bow made for me by Michael Pinkerton, who has a uh, Facebook devoted to a cigar box style guitars, uh, which I'll link in the description below. This is a done bow uh, in the style of a cigar box guitar. As the name suggests, cigar box guitars uh, are, were traditionally made from cigar boxes. Uh, now in this particular case, it's not an actual cigar box, it's just in the style of those types of guitars, um, but it is quite striking. And uh, thank you so much to uh, Michael for uh, making this happen. So how it all came together uh, was that uh, one day about uh, just over a month ago, uh, Michael uh, messaged me on Facebook and he had been looking for information on the Vietnamese traditional Dan Bo, uh, but he couldn't find very much. Uh, and he discovered my videos and we got started talking to one another uh, and I offered to uh, give him a little bit of information about how the Danbo worked. Uh, I not only uh, gave him the dimensions of uh, the Danbo that I have, uh, I also showed him how the instrument was played um, and I sent him some Danbo rods so that he could uh, begin to make an instrument. The Danbo is pretty easy to build in general, uh, you're really just looking at uh, some kind of t tuning mechanism um, and a hole for the rod to go into. Uh, and then uh, other than that, you want to have a uh, pickup. Traditional Danbo obviously didn't use a pickup. Instead, the body, uh, along with a gourd that was attached to this side of the instrument, would together provide the resonance for the instrument. However, uh, a lot of modern Danbo uh, are uh, electric instruments, and this one is no exception. So I think Michael's installed a humbucker uh, in this one, and one thing that he's done that's really unique that I really like is that he's inserted the electronics over on this side to make it easier for uh, me to control. So the tone and the volume are all down here, as well as uh, the plug. Um, but the pickup is over here, and he's run one long um, set of wires down into the main body. Now all of that was done uh, to uh, really accentuate the fact that this is made to resemble a guitar. Michael originally just put uh, dots on the instrument um, where the harmonics are. I've temporarily also placed uh, these black lines, which are just uh, pieces of duct tape, uh, to mark uh, where uh, a player plays uh, each of the harmonics. For those of you who are new to the Danbo, uh, who've never seen this uh, instrument, uh, the Danbo is a Vietnamese uh, traditional instrument. One of the most uh, unique things about the instrument is that it only plays uh, on harmonics. So just to demonstrate a little bit, uh, an open string on a guitar generally sounds something like this. But if you cut the string in half, uh, and if you can lightly touch the exact middle of the string, you can cut uh, the wavelength in half of the string, and you go up an octave. Here, I'm going to be using the base of my pinky to touch um, the first uh, harmonic. And then if I pluck at the same time, like that, I get this very nice, clear tone. So that's a harmonic. All right, so if we call this open note Do, that's the Do above that, okay? Danbo players, instead of marking uh, just the harmonic, they tend to mark underneath where they pick because the harmonic tends to be underneath the hand and then you can't see it as well. So it's Do, So, Do, Mi, So, Do. Now that doesn't give you, you know, obviously every single note. So to get the pitches in the middle, uh, you use this rod. Uh, the rod is uh, traditionally made out of either bamboo, uh, that's a little bit more rigid, uh, or a water buffalo horn, which has been carved down. And that's what this is, uh, and that's very flexible. You can then use that to play other notes. If you uh, take a string and it increases tension, then its pitch goes up. And if you decrease its tension, then its pitch goes down. So using that technique, you can hit any kind of microtone in between all of these notes.
So you can see uh, Michael's uh, Dunbo plays traditional music perfectly fine. Uh, what I do like is it's got a little bit of um, grit to it. It just sounds really good uh, with an effects pedal. So I haven't been able to play with it very much, but a lot of what I've been doing with it is just to play with it over uh, rock tracks and uh, with uh, effects pedal. <laughs> That was just me screwing around a little bit, no warm up, nothing. Uh, but um, I hope it gives you a little bit of a sense of what uh, I can do with this bad boy and how much fun I've been having with it. Uh, again, thank you so much, uh, Michael. Feel free to get in touch if you want to learn more about this. And of course, uh, if you want a cool Dunbo, uh, please uh, do go to my man, uh, Michael Pinkerton. He does some great work, uh, makes beautiful instruments, and I am ever so grateful uh, to have this opportunity to work with him. Uh, thanks, and I'll see you guys next time.